Hello friends, uh, today we'll see how we can run a Jenkins image on Docker. So in the last video we have seen how to install Docker and uh, run an image uh, on a Linux platform. So today we'll see the Jenkins part. So for Jenkins image you can go to Jenkins website and if we click on download uh, you will get a link for Docker image. So just click here. And it will straight away redirect you to the Docker Hub where actually the Jenkins uh, image resides. So we can see a Docker pull command over here just for reference. But if you scroll down, there is a documentation page. If you can click here, you will get the exact command uh, you can use uh, to run the Docker image. So these are the commands. So this is a simple Docker command uh, with a, an port mapping and the Jenkins image with tag LDS JDK 11. Another command you can see is this where actually it will create a Docker volume. Uh, it will map the volume and in our case we will run this last command because we have to run the image in detached mode. So with hyphen D argument. So we'll copy this. And I'm already on route. We'll check Docker. Okay, so last in last video we have seen hello world image. So now we'll check the Jenkins. So I will run just exact same command. So it has started pulling the Jenkins image. It will download and install. Let's just wait for that. So we can run uh, any image with the help of similar command and you can just map the port whatever you want. So by default it is 8080 for Jenkins. So we have mentioned same and you can mention your image with the tag whatever you want to run on Docker platform. So it will take one or two minutes max and it will download everything. Okay, so we can check with Docker PS command to check the process. So we can see a container is running with this container ID and image is Jenkins. So if you want to check logs, you can just give the container ID or starting some few letters. So here we can see the Docker logs and we'll just wait because uh, if we check on our browser and we'll try to access the Jenkins homepage. So it will show us the admin password here in Jenkins uh, in Docker logs. So yeah, it is still configuring. So we'll check again. Yeah, so we have got our admin password here. So if I just copy this, we should see our first page at any moment. So guys, as you can see, uh, we have got our initial page, page where we can paste the same uh, password. 
and then we can follow the post install uh, steps to configure our Jenkins. So we have already made a video on that. Uh, you can refer that. So this was all guys. Thank you for watching.